Welcome. If you've clicked on this video, it's because you're probably feeling as anxious as I was for packing my hospital bag to go and have baby the first time around. We're not playing the Instagram game here. I mean, it's just literally some really loose, these are actually maternity leggings. On that note, it is really nice to have just a few things of your own to make you feel comfortable. This is a, a little tip for you. I was relying on him to go and grab things and get things and you know, I just wanted to make it as easy as possible. So in today's video, I'm gonna go through absolutely everything that you need here in Australia specifically as well for packing your hospital bag. One of the reasons I wanted to make this video is because when I was looking, I found a lot of videos of first time mums just giving information when they didn't really know what they were doing because they hadn't been through it. This is my second baby, so I know, I know what you need, I know what I used, I know what I didn't use, I've got all the information, um, I'm basically just gonna give you all my little tips and tricks and as much info as I possibly can on stuff that was actually useful for us. So what I've done is I've laid everything out on the bed in our spare room, got everything kind of ready to go, and I'm just gonna talk you through each thing and explain a few bits and bobs as I go basically. Also, just in case you are new, my name is Charlie. I have a baby girl who is coming up to two years old. I'm currently 35 weeks pregnant, so I really need to get a move on with packing all this stuff. Um, I'm British, but I live in Australia with my husband, Tom. And again, when I was looking at these videos, a lot of videos were American and it kind of wasn't exactly the same as how it works in Australia. I'm in South Australia, so I thought it'd be helpful to make a video sharing my experience from last time and just giving you guys a few like tips and tricks basically that's based specifically around Australia rather than America. So this is kind of an overview of everything I've got so far and before we get started I do have a list I will put this in the description so that you guys don't need to be taking notes as you're going along. So let's start over this side with baby things. Also before we get into the thick of it I just wanted to say that my first baby well I'm not going to go into the full birth story now you can watch that I'll, I'll link it for you in the description but um, we were in hospital for five days so I have basically got everything packed here as if that was going to happen again I am definitely the sort of person that would prefer to have more things and not need them rather than like just pack the minimal and then be like oh could really do with some more of this so that's that's kind of how I do things so we'll start with the baby stuff as you can see here I've got a lot of nappies newborn mat nappies again it's always better to have more than you need then I've got all of her it's it's a baby girl by the way all of her onesies so just onesie little um little sleep suit these are all in Australia these are all size four zero I'm actually going to borrow a couple of five zeros from a friend just in case she's small, but she's measuring to be quite big at the moment, so it's probably not going to be needed. Again, better to have more than you need. I'm going to put all of these into um, some packing cubes so that we can kind of keep everything organised. This is a little tip for you. This is especially if you end up in hospital for a while. Bring a big Ziploc bag, chucking all the dirty clothes into so that got something to take them home. So I've got all the onesies there. I've got singlets, just kind of plain singlets. There's probably about like, I think there's 10 of them there and two little hats. Then I have just jersey swaddle blankets. We'll probably be using the hospital ones because that's what we did last time. The hospital will provide you with blankets and you just use those most of the time. But I've got some of our own just in case. I've also got some lighter kind of muslin blankets as well. And a big fluffy one because it is winter. Some more nappy related things. Obviously we've got wipes. You can never have too many of those. So we definitely need um, like lots of wipes. I personally like to use the water wipes because they're very just natural and there's not really much to them and they're very good for like newborn skin and then we've got um, nappy cream as well. I've got a, I'm, I'm not going to take all of these, I've just put them here for the moment, but just a couple of nappy bags as well. Sorry if I sound a little bit out of breath, it's because I'm like 35 weeks pregnant coming up to 36. So anyway, um, announcement card. Obviously can't show you the, uh, the name 
name because that's going to be a secret but we've got the pen and then we're going to write the details so we've got all of that um things like ready to go okay, so let's move on to mum so i've basically just got put a few of my clothes out here i'm trying to keep it as simple as possible i have well basically what happened last time was i actually ended up with um after a failed induction um there were some complications and we ended up with a c-section so this time i basically i'm not making it complicated with loads of clothes and because i know i won't use them i've got three night dresses i've obviously got underwear and some fluffy socks just in case it's cold but again i don't i don't actually think i'll need those i didn't use them last time because when i you know had a c-section and like bending down to put socks on just wasn't really a thing <laughs> um i've got one outfit to leave the hospital we're not playing the Instagram game here. I mean, it's just literally some really loose, these are actually maternity leggings. So it's not, you know, we're not we're not pretending that we're gonna be really stylish. It's just pra we're practically pajamas. Also, I actually live like just around the corner from the hospital, so we're barely going anywhere. I have four, I think, or three or four, um, nursing bras. Now these, super, super important. I actually, I mean, I, I have quite big boobs, so it's a little bit tricky trying to find really good nursing bras, but I use this brand. They're, I think they're an Australian brand called Hot Milk. I, I basically lived in them for like the first six months of postpartum with Lexi. Something that is really important that I used a lot last time was basically belly support bands, because once you've had baby, obviously your bump doesn't just go away like you know you it kind of feels a bit funny because the baby's gone but there's like you know this space and so having some support around your tummy is so helpful um because of the c-section i also saw a physio and she gave me a tuba grip that i wore most of the time as well but this time i've also i'm going to take these just in case i've got a belly band and another kind of support band which will help um flip-flops or thongs for the shower because you know you just you you want to have some thongs in the shower just eat again easy slip on and again slippers just cozy something to walk around that again are just easy slip on just in case because as i said i wasn't prepared for having a c-section if you've got complicated shoes that you have to bend down to put on that's not helpful you just want something simple um and a dressing gown so i've got just a plain robe it's like night it is quite soft and cozy dressing gown so effectively you're not really getting like dress dressed the whole time so this is why it's all kind of like pajamary and you know you don't really need any of this stuff but what i will add to this when we're closer to the time is probably just like one breastfeeding like t-shirt and a pair of leggings just in case I, you know, want to just kind of wander around a bit more, maybe outside, um, and I just want another outfit. I'll be taking um, my breastfeeding pillow. It was, um, that was really, really helpful. On that note, it is really nice to have just a few things of your own to make you feel comfortable. I remember the first time around we did the hypnobirthing course and that was very focused on making sure your environment was, you know, just very like cozy for you. So having my own pillow, my own like, you know, feather down pillow and a blanket and things like that, having a few like less kind of soft furnishings around me that made me feel good and comfortable. Um, just took the edge off the fact you're in hospital it was so nice and totally valuable. So I would definitely recommend that. So on that note, we'll be taking our diffuser. This is actually the baby one, but it kind of does the same thing. It has like white noise and it has, um, and the really nice soft light and it's just it's just nice and calming so we'll be taking that and that will help when bubs arrives as well now i'm going to get into a few little bits of kind of postpartum stuff this is essential upside down peri bottle you definitely want to have one of these that's going to help because obviously once you've had baby you can't really wipe down there so you need something that's just gentle and these this is really good and along with some like spray that also is a good relief so this is a really really good one to have and this is stuff that obviously the hospital don't provide as well i found that last time the hospital did provide um this sort of stuff they provided pads and they provided like um nappy underwear as well but these are i'm just going to take these just in case um they're really really helpful to have some of those and you'll need them for when you're like back as well because either way if you have a c-section or a natural birth you will there will be a lot of bleeding so you need these sort of things 
Right, this is a very, very basic, tiny little breastfeeding kit. Now, as I said last time, I ended up with a C-section and my milk did not come in until day five. Oh, I feel bundled up, just to starting to get a milk in. Yeah, my boobs are really sore. Boobs are really sore. So I actually didn't even get to the stage where I needed breast pads, but do you know what? I prefer to just have a few on me just in case. I don't actually know. The hospital might provide those. I'm not really sure, but um, I definitely would need my um, like nipple cream. This is an absolute savior. So I'm going to have some of that on me just in case. I'm going to take these this time. These are the, um, I think the Lansino brand, but they're just these them little kind of like heat packs that you put, they're like, let me hang on, I did this with one hand, they're little heat packs that you put in the um, microwave and then they, they're just like, they just help. I'm going to take all of this stuff with me just in case this time, but as I said, I didn't really need these in the first few days last time because I wasn't kind of fully into breastfeeding at that point. Anyway, just, just going to have it just in case. I'm obviously going to be taking all my toiletries. This is just to remind me to pack toiletries i'm going to be adding obviously with some makeup and my hairbrush and things like everything like everything that i need kind of to that pile that's not exclusive at the moment but that's just to remind me also going to be taking an eye mask mainly because when you have a newborn as you know <laughs> you're going to be sleeping at random times in the day especially in hospitals so it's nice just to be able to just put an eye mask on and kind of switch off so this cable is here to remind me of all the tech that i need this is a, a little tip for you get a, an extra long charging cable because you don't know how close the plug will be to your bed so it's just easier just to have a big long charging cable for your phone so you don't have any problems there. I'm obviously going to be adding in camera equipment, battery chargers and things like that as well so I do have a fair amount of tech because I'll be vlogging the whole experience but yeah that's just almost just to remind me of that. Water bottle, you definitely want a water bottle and um, preferably one as well that um, that I guess has a straw because you don't want to have to be well you, you, you want to be able to easily drink it whilst you're lying down just in case if that makes sense um it just makes it easier so just I don't know just just your water bottle because you're going to be drinking a lot of water and uh, going from that onto snacks these are here to remind me that I haven't actually done my shopping for my snacks yet but I've just got a couple of energy drinks there and I'm going to be adding in a few bits and bobs Tom's just unpacked all the snacks <laughs> Great for the chocolate. Um, I've got a fair amount of bits and bobs in there. When I was in labour last time, I personally didn't feel very hungry, but I didn't have a lot of energy, so I was actually just craving like sugary drinks, which is which is bad. I guess why I've got some Gatorade there. Um, I actually found that eating those little like, jelly fruit pops that was really good because I just wanted something really easy to eat with a little bit of sugar. And jelly beans are quite good as well. You know, all the snacks. Also, this time I'm going to be taking, probably taking anyway. So I've got some lactation cookies, but I'll go into that. Hmm. Probably not in this video, because I'm probably going to do another little video, actually, where I'm going to show you everything that's in my little breastfeeding caddy, because this time we're going to get it right. <laughs> this time I'm just going to be way more organised, because I kind of wasn't last time, and um, yet yeah, yeah, this time I literally, oh my goodness, I've got this whole caddy set up, I've got everything organised. <gasps> I can't wait to show you, but that will be in another video. <laughs> so I'm feeling pretty organised here. I think we've pretty much got everything. I'm going to go through and put everything into separate packing cubes just to make sure everything is organized and easy to grab. I'm trying to make everything very easy for my husband Tom as well because as I said for the 50 millionth time in this video last time I had a c-section and you can't really move very well so I was relying on him to go and grab things and get things and you know I just wanted to make it as easy as possible so doing things like that for your birth partner just make sure everything is in like you know bags or is labeled up and it's super easy to access because if you're the only person that knows where everything is then you know that's not the best. 
Is there anything else on this list? As I said, I will put this list in the description just so that you guys can just, you know, look at it really easily. Oh, headphones. I'm definitely gonna be bringing my noise canceling headphones. They'll be on the list as well because they were just, you know, very, very helpful. And so there's a few last minute bits that you have to kind of grab at the last minute, like my charging plug, obviously my water bottle, <laughs> um, hairbrush, things like that. Um, also colostrum, if you've been harvesting colostrum, Room, you'd have to grab that from the freezer as well so you have to make sure you remember that so yeah that's pretty much it if you think of something that I have forgotten uh, just write it in the comments because then we can help everybody out you know all the other mamas out there if there's something really big that you're like oh why didn't you mention this put it in the comments because then we can you know share the knowledge and that's exactly what we're trying to do here all I ever wanted to do was try and help people and just be as real as possible to make it a little bit more relatable I guess and just yeah share the knowledge that I have share the experience of what happened last time I hope this has been helpful if it has then please do hit the like button because it does help to support my channel and then it will push it to other people that might you know benefit from seeing this video if you're not already subscribed then I would love to have you as part of our family I do lots of kind of just homely vlogs a bit of adventure travel um, just there's lots of stuff on this channel that's kind of it is a little bit all over the place really but yeah I, as I said we're about to have another baby so it's going to be a lot of behind the scenes of life with a toddler and a baby navigating that I'm gonna be doing lots more breastfeeding tips videos as well because wow we had a journey without the first time and let's see how this second time goes <laughs> so anyway thanks so much for watching and we will see you soon